Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Uh, this is question number seven from the IGCSE Extended uh, Mathematics David Rayner book. Um, and this is question um, from exercise 10 in chapter eight about vectors. I've been requested to answer this question. Um, and this question here, we see a diagram given that told us um, that CY is parallel to OD. CY is parallel to OD. They've told us also that CX is one fifth of CD. So it's like this is five parts. This is one one of the parts, and this is four of the parts. One fifth CX is one fifth of CD. You can say it's, it's divided in the ratio one to four. You could say O to C is vector C as shown. O to D is vector D as shown, and C to Y is N D. Okay, so n is some sort of a constant times d. So you can see cy and cd are parallel. They're both multiples of the same vector. It tells us to express c to d in terms of the vectors c and d. So we got to go from c to d. So we can see very clearly we can go from c to o and then from o to d. From c to o and then from o to d. Now c to o is minus c, and o to d is d. So you have minus c plus d, or if, if you want you can write it as d minus c. Both of those are perfectly fine. All right, part b says um, express c to x in terms of c and d. Remember this is one quarter, this is one fifth, sorry, of the whole thing, so that's one and that's five. So to c to x in terms of c and d. Well, c to x we already know is one-fifth of c to d, as they told us in the question. They told us here, c to x is one-fifth of c to d. And we found what c to d is up here. So c to x is going to be one-fifth times d minus c. So you can write it like this, or you can say one-fifth of d minus one-fifth of c. Okay, then it says express o to x in terms of c and d. Well, it's like just taking it a step further, so O to X is equal to O to C plus C to X. So O to C is the vector C plus C to X, what we just found. So you have plus a fifth D minus a fifth C. Now we can't leave an answer like this because it's not simplified. You've got to combine the like terms. So you have C minus one fifth C is four fifth C. So you can say this is the same as four fifth of C plus one fifth of D. Okay, so there we have um, the answer to part C. And then part D, it says express D to Y in terms of C, D, and N. D to Y, well, we can get to D to Y quite easily by going from D to O and then O to C and then from C to Y. That's like probably the, the simplest way of thinking it. Have we found D to C already? We have, we've actually found a C to D to C. But it's, it's not a big deal. It's, it's just very simple. So D to C is like going from D to O, which is minus D. I'll just write the whole thing out. It's like from going from D to O, and then from O to C, and then from C to Y. So you've got minus D plus C and plus N times D. Okay, so we could leave it like this if you want, or you could write it as C plus, and you could say N minus one times D. That's going to be uh, mine. It's going to be plus N D minus D. You could write it like that if you want to. You don't have to. That's fine. Then it says given that O to X is parallel to D to Y, so O to X is equal to some constant times D to Y. When two power, when two vectors are parallel, they can be expressed as multiples of each other. Okay, so I've called um. O to X is parallel to D to Y, okay? So we've got to use that to find the value of N. Okay, so let's how, how are we going to work that out? Well, let's work out what O to X is in terms of... See, we, already, we already know what O to X is, so let's say O to X is equal to... As we found out already, 4 fifth C plus 1 fifth D. 4 fifth C plus 1 fifth of D. That's O to X. 
And D to Y, we, we found what D to Y was in the last question. And that's equal to C plus N minus 1 times D. Now, I know that O to X is equal to some constant times D to Y. So I can say 4 fifth C plus 1 fifth D is equal to some constant times C plus N minus 1 times D. Okay, so I know that these this is true because, you know, O to X is parallel to D to Y. So we can do the following. We can say, okay, let's compare the coefficients of C. Now on the left side, you've got 4 fifths. On the right side, you've got K times C. Okay, so 4 fifths is equal to K. So K is equal to 4 fifths. And for D, if you compare the coefficients of D, you've got 1 fifth on the left side. And here you've got N minus 1. Okay, um, so you have k times n minus 1. k times n minus 1, that is the d coefficient on that side. So what we could do here now is we, we know what k is, k is 1 fifth. So we can say 1 fifth is equal to, k is 4 fifth, sorry, 4 fifth times n minus 1. I can multiply both sides by 5, in which case the 5s will disappear. So I have 1 equals 4, n minus 4. So I can add 4 to both sides and then I can divide by 4 um, yeah add 4 to both sides you end up with 5 equals 4 n divided by 4 n equals 5 over 4 so we found that n equals 5 over 4 and we've answered this question part e okay so n is 5 over 4 okay um, so that means cy is 5 over 4 d so that's the value of n Okay, so we use the fact that OX is parallel to DY, as they told us, so it's equal to some constant times DY. So you can express O to X equals something times um, DY, and if they're parallel, then the coefficients of the C must be the same, and the coefficients of the D must also be the same. Coefficients of C is 4 fifths on this side and K on that side, and on the left side, the coefficients of D is 1 fifth. On the right side, the coefficient of D is K times N minus 1. So then we can work out what we know what k is, substitute that into here, we can work out what n is. And there we have the answer. So this is a question from, as I said, from the IGCSE book on um, vectors. <clears throat> and other questions from this book can be found, or from this chapter in this book, can be found in this playlist. Other questions about vectors in IGCSE from this playlist that will be underneath it. You can click on my, um, you know, this button to subscribe to my channel. And on the top of the page, I'll put a link to a past paper for IGCSE. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you understood, and I hope I see you soon.